thank you. So I will try to share the my applications. Yep. So, okay. Uh, welcome to the meeting. Uh, so for the agenda today, we are going to review the working groups and research groups. So please add your name here. So about the 60s, Thomas or Pascal are online. So Michael add that the, all the documents are finally processed through the RC editor. So it seems that can be closed soon for 60s. Six low, Carlos Sueta. Hello, uh, Carlos here. Hello. Yes. So, yeah, uh, in Six Low, we have a session scheduled in the next ITF meeting. And since the last ITF, we had a new RFC, which is entitled Packet Delivery Deadline Time in Six Low and Routing Header. And the four current working group documents are in advanced stages. Uh, two of them have already been evaluated by the ISG. Those are IPv6 over NFC and IPv6 mesh over VLE. And then the two other active working group documents are IPv6 over TLC, uh, for which the authors have uh, already addressed the pre ISG reviews and the use cases draft, which has almost passed the second working group last call. And perhaps the main news is that for the first time in several years, Years, most of the time in the next six law meeting will be dedicated to discussing new work, uh, comprising mainly three items. The first is entitled Transmission of SHIC Compress Package over 15.4 Networks. Uh, by the way, SHIC is the main product of the LP1 working group, and one of the components it has is a header compression uh, mechanism. Then the second uh, work item is entitled Native Short Address for Internet Expansion. And the last one is fragment forwarding and some discussion about using forward error correction also for fragment forwarding in six lopan networks. So any comments or questions? Okay, thank you very much, Carlos. Ase, Daniel, Loganande. Okay. Arima, Terles. So it's 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 all on the page. We finished our first uh, round of the charter after I don't know five years. Um, so that's uh, 450 pages, and um, we're now looking into primarily a lot of extensions coming from real world requirements. Um, and I think the new area that we're uh, looking into is to actually um, build on top of the automation um, new service agents uh, to run the automation. Uh, we're having a hackathon. Um, Feel free to to listen in, join in on that. The URL is there. Um, also, um, if you're interested in network automation, NMRG is doing um, the starting work for defining what intent is. Um, so that might be another uh, thing to get involved into um, for network automation. Okay, great. Thank you very much, Torles. I, Steve, Michael, Niklas. Okay. So there are hackathon efforts this week and the implementation of draft. There are more information in the leak. Uh, Cibor, Barry, Christian. Hi, this is Barry Lieber. Um, not a lot to say. We have uh, uh, several work, uh, working group documents that are getting ready to leave the working group. They're listed there as C CDD control file magic and network addresses. And we make regular progress in biweekly conference calls. As I say, this is a happy, friendly working group and no, no strife. Karsten, do you have anything you want to add to that? Karsten, probably, yeah. probably, but uh, not off the top of my head. Okay, that's fine. That's good enough. Okay. Further question or comments? Okay, thank you, Cor. Jaime, Marco. Hi, this is Marco. Um, so we've recently published RC 9039, used to be WRN or resource names for device identifiers. And we have 16 active documents, but four of them are now finally very close to publication and three have been sent to the ISG for evaluation. 
Um, most of the recent works in this month has been on constant resource identifiers, dynamic linking and transport indication, group communication for co-op, also protected with the group of score protocol, and a number of methods related to the use of proxies, of score, and the ad hoc protocol developed in Lake. Uh, so after ITF 110, we had six interim meetings every other week, uh, covering especially the topics uh, I've just mentioned. Uh, next week for ITF 111, we meet for a two-hour session, and we have already scheduled and booked four interim meetings for the autumn uh, every other week, starting mid-September. That should be all for me. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, Marco. Uh, question and comments? No? Okay, Kose? Matt? Ivalo? Okay, it seems that the RFCs are in out 48. Deadnet? Okay, Janos is in another meeting. Low is not present. Okay, IoT operations. Alexei, Henk. Hi, so, um, sorry. <laughs> not speaking for five minutes makes me uh, <clears throat> weird. So, hi, this is Henk. Uh, yeah, IoT options meeting. Uh, we uh, basically what it says there. We we, we had to move um, uh, our uh, uh, draft time to Monday. I think it is now, and we're conflicting with sex dispatch. That's not great, but better. <laughs> so, but now we got two hours of which seventy-five minutes already booked. Uh, there are some discussions of getting something else in. Still, uh, we have uh, three uh, IDs related with our data tracker at the moment that are natively there. I think there's one more upcoming and uh, yeah, so this is a lively discussion actually at the moment and uh, I hope this continues at the meeting itself and unfortunately my doorbell rang so I have to run. <laughs> okay, thank you very much, Hank. Further questions or comments? Okay, thank you. Lake, Melissa, Stephen. Okay, LWG, Mohit, Sen. Nope, LP1. Alex, Pascal, no, nope. Rats, Kathleen, Nancy, Ned, no, okay, Roll uh, will not meet at ITF uh, 111, we are going to have an interim meeting on August 31, uh, ODB Ripple went to the ASG and the others have to work on the uh, Revis uh, draft, they have to replace for some comments. We have submitted NC extension. We have new work to be considered um, uh, about the border route uh, crash detections in Ripple. And we are currently looking for reviewers for the projection, enrollment priority, and MOPEX. So please let me know if you can review those documents. Thank you very much. Further questions or comments? Okay, sweet. Dave, David, Russ. Hi, this is Russ. Um, so the architecture document is in RFC. The information model is in the um, RFC editor's queue. The uh, primary and biggest document, the suit manifest, is just about ready for working group last call. Uh, we expect that to uh, happen right after IETF uh, 111. And we decided to uh, take two things that are essentially part of the manifest, but put them in separate documents so as to finish that body of work. And that is uh, the ability to encrypt firmware and to do reporting uh, on what firmware is loaded. And then we have a recharter that's uh, just beginning to be discussed, which will allow us to adopt a uh, document on how to do mud in with the uh, in a company to suit so that's pretty much uh yeah if there's unless there's questions okay great thank you Russ. uh further question or comments okay tip tiru nancy i don't know that either of them are on but this is dave so i can talk about tips since i type that stuff in thank you uh, so this kind of goes along with what Russ was covering in uh, suit because it's talking about the integration between them is what the hackathon is. Uh, the 
uh, in TEEP, there's an architecture document and the transport document that goes under the protocol. Both of those have been through working group last call, I think, twice and are ready to go off of the ISG and is just waiting for the Doc Shepard to submit the write-up. The protocol document, we've been going through implementation of it on multiple different platforms, all the way from, you know, IoT devices to server stuff, because it's supposed to scale up and down. And so it's uh, been collecting implementation experience and issues and things over the last couple of IETFs. Um, the document is getting to be fairly stable. I'm not sure it's ready for working group last call yet. We're still collecting implementation experience. Hackathon 111, we're integrating between TEEP and SUIT and RATS, all three. So the EAT oh, uh, document in RATS and the SUIT manifest in SUIT and the TEEP protocol, the combination of those three is the focus of the hackathon. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Uh, further questions and comments? Okay. Thanks to the industry group. Ari Karsten. Yeah, so we already had our summer meeting a month ago because everybody is on vacation now, as you can see from, from the participation in this meeting as well. Um, yeah. So I'm, I'm not going to read the paragraph about that mm -hmm. uh, meeting, but uh, I think we, we have a pretty good um, set of ecosystems we are talking uh, to um, about uh, converting SDF into those ecosystems. Um, and we have a hackathon activity um, this week that will further work on converters and other SDF uh, tools. Um, we have uh, we are going to have an academic workshop on descriptive approaches to IoT security network and application configuration in December. Uh, deadline is in two months, in September 17th. Um, and I think everybody who thinks that, that uh, um, descriptions like MUD files and SDF descriptions and other kinds of descriptive approaches uh, are going to play a big role in, in setting up IoT networks and even actually networks in general um, is uh, welcome to submit a paper there. Okay, great. Thank you very much, Karsten. Further qu uh, question or comments? Hey, Karsten, uh, this is Samita. Um, I have a question on the IoT edge challenge and fun functions, um, and I see that you have a couple of documents on them. Um, is it possible to write um, those drafts in the code EMD so I can take a look later? I'm interested in those. Sure. Okay, great. Thank you. Um, and Coin? Thank you. Coin, Jeffrey, Eve, Marie, Jose? No. Ro, Rick, Eve? Okay. IoT so, Software F uh, Foundation, Security Foundation, sorry. Um, so there is a new mailing list. Michael is here. Seems not to be the case. So, are you aware of new plan ITF, RTF, IoT activities? Okay, seems that in this summer it's not to be the case. Uh, other other business, so please, uh, we have put into this GitHub the survey results, so you can go and check it out. Um, mainly that uh, people understand the charter, and that uh, we can request that uh, every member of the IoT directory member may do a one review at least per quarter. <coughs> that would be great. But uh, further outcomes are in the in the link. Um, actually, so, uh, yes. uh, actually, Inet, uh, would you like to show that link? Um, I would like to have a discussion in the group and see if anybody else has any, Can you any see? comments or, or further discussions. Yeah. I Can also you... sent out uh, the, the summary results in the IoT directory at least, so you should have a copy. Yes. Also. It's here. Can you see the GitHub? Yeah, wherever you're, you're asking people to take a look, so yes. show them what is there. 
Yeah, so here in our uh, repositories, we have this repository with the overall summary and outcomes. So please read it and let us know if you agree or or not. And there are in here as well some uh, images. This document uh, has the, the graph, basically that summarized the questions. So that's, that's it. Okay. Yeah, I I thought there are two action items. Yes. Um, that we are going to take. Uh, so one of them actually started taking place uh, already. The ADs would like to experiment with the relevant um, with you know with the timing of the review. Usually it's two weeks. Sometimes it's difficult for people to make that. Um, and so, so ADs are trying to see if they can um, ask for review during the last call, working group last call. And the second option is people have expressed a lot of interest that they would like to do more than uh, just reviews. So in that case, um, we start with the engagement with other SDOs. Um, so I think Ines and Ari are looking into right now primarily and also willing to help in some of the cases uh, to work with some of the SDOs and have them come um, to IOT, IETF, IOT group and give a presentation. And that should happen not on these the IETF calls, but a separate uh, call. And then also um, there were like um, comments that people would like to do more on the discussions, uh, on, on the strategies, and participate more on the uh, alignment of other IoT groups. So, uh, so that's the input we have taken. Yes. But if you, yeah, if you have any more comments uh, to guide us, please, please let us know or you can speak up now. So this is Dave, just a comment on the uh, external SDOs. Uh, I'm noticing that the IoT Directorate Wiki uh, does not have a list of other SDOs that we want to coordinate with. Uh, nor does this page, and I'm wondering if we can maintain a list someplace along with maybe a paragraph that uh, if there's anybody that has another IoT related SDO, then how to get in contact so that they can get on that list or something like that. So that's great. Okay. Okay. I think um, the the specific thing that would be helpful would be for for people <clears throat> who actually do also work in another SDO. Uh, and are exactly. willing to have their name associated with that to to put their name into that list. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think the the ones that the IoT Directorate has historically collaborated with is uh, I, is uh, IoT organizations for which IoT Directorate members are also personally involved in. Right. right? And so yeah. that is, mm. and so that is somewhat by you know coincidence or whatever that you have a particular set. And maybe you don't have another set just because of the personnel at the time. And so if there's a longer lifetime list than the list of people who might be on a call, um, and if there's other SDOs, then it might be a way to attract other people to come to the IETF if they can somehow find a page based on you know web searches or whatever other mechanisms that we have to outreach. Just because. You know, there's a bunch of IoT organizations out there, and we're right now we're a little bit biased towards the ones that we're already in ourselves. Um, and it would be useful to have um, at least knowledge about a broader set of things. So, just an example. Sometimes I talk about OPCUA, which uh, OPC, yeah. which I am not involved in. Um, and you wouldn't have even talked about that one had I not been on the call, just because I happened to be involved in one of the meetings there that they invited me to come and present at. But otherwise, I'm not involved in them. So it's just things like that. I'm sure there's others out there. So. Yeah, um, one of the thing is um, maybe the presenter may not want to be the name in the contact list, list, but we could ask them to give a general contact name um, who is willing to uh, receive emails. 
yeah. But that's that what he said, right? I mean, the people uh, who, who want to be listed there should be listed and otherwise not. Well, to just take another example, Torlis, mm -hmm. um, there was a presentation a couple of IETFs ago, and this is pre-COVID times, from people that came to the IETF with the internet draft that says, okay, here's how to use, I don't remember if it was how to use co-app for OPC uh, UA. And the discussion was, okay, well, is there anybody from the OPC who's reviewed this? And if I wasn't present in the meeting there, then they then they would have said, well, go talk to them. And the presenters didn't even know who to go to, right? If we actually right. have okay. somebody that's kind of a contact point for each one, then we can kind of refer them to say, hey, you know, please follow up with Dave or please follow up with Torless, and he can point you to the right people. So, I agree. Social networks of SDOs. Thank you for the comment. And <clears throat> I probably should add that T2TRG, of course, is interested in knowing about any SDO we don't know about it. So OPC is on our list, but uh, there, there may be others that really we don't know about. Yeah. Marty. Do you maintain a list, Carsten, in T2TRG for the uh... Uh, for the folks that you usually bring in? No, and we probably should document that better. So right now it's it's kind of in the heads of the chairs and, and uh, of course it's also in the, the minutes of the meetings we have had uh, with, with people okay. from the various uh, groups. Um, but uh, we, we probably need to provide a better directory of that. Mm -hmm. I think okay, there is yeah, a web page. I think, yeah. yeah, in the Go ITF on. there is a web page that the, the state, the members of other SDOs, but is in the general. Yeah, there's the liaisons page, which is kind of an official appointment mm -hmm. that IAB does to other organizations. Um, but we're here, we're not necessarily talking about official liaison. It's just somebody that might have knowledge of who the right contacts and stuff are um, for informal right. purposes. Because there's a bunch of organizations that the IAB has said, there's no point today, you know, we, there's no need to establish a liaison relationship because we couldn't do anything that we couldn't do without a liaison, right? And so here is just informal contact points that is for a, a broader net than actual official, li official liaisons. Right. Yeah, okay. We will work in that list. Thank you very much. Okay. Further comment or questions? Okay, uh, so I can uh, we can finalize the meeting. Uh, thank you very much uh, to all for participant. Uh, enjoy the vacations time, and I will stop the recording now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye.